my veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time while I move passing by uh. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Visit CBC account for your mission allowance. Any question? Sir, I am currently on a mission. Ignore that. A new delegate will complete that. This mission supersedes that. Yes, boss. No failure. Yes, boss. Yes, the vessel is on its way. ETA 20 minutes stops. I will be there in the jiffy. No mistakes. Do I make myself clear? Good. Four full years now. Four bad years of wasting. Mom, when some of my mates in secondary school have graduated, I have made my papers, passed both jam and post jam, back to back in the last four years. Yet, here I am, the only son of a widow, still wasting at home. Why? James, you are not wasting. You are only waiting. Waiting for God's time. There you go again. Waiting for God's time after four years? The question is, when exactly is God's time? When? makes everything beautiful in its own time.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, go to bed. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Message. Please wait. Why are you treating me like this? How do I treat you? Am I a doctor? You know too well that things have not been the same in this house. You avoid me and treat me like a non-entity. Disrespect, disregard, insult and unimaginable abuses are what I get from you on a daily basis. You have even stopped following me to church. You attend our family altar with utmost um, I don't care attitude. Pimpe, Pimpe, what's happening to us? I mean, what... excuse me. To start with, what family altar are you talking about? An altar whose priest is worse than an infidel. An altar long dead and rotting, with no fire burning on it. I doubt if you're actually aware of the pain, your negligence, and gross irresponsibility has caused us in this house. When was the last time you took responsibility for any of the events in this house? Please. Let me go to bed peacefully this night. Wait, wait, just wait. <sighs> Bingbe, you know I am not an irresponsible man. We have had good times in this house when my business was moving smoothly. And now that... And now that your business has crashed, you have refused to do the needful to bounce back. Then don't blame me for anything. <sighs> Bingbe, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you at all. Please, just be patient with me. Patience? After painfully carrying all the responsibilities in this house for the past eight bad months, look, my patience has gone to Salik Bancroft. Good night. Most men easily forget their smallness, especially when they look forward to a greater achievement ahead of them, which with time will become small to yet another great feat ahead of them, until the smallness of their very beginning at birth is dwarfed to extinction. Are you a philosopher or what? Drop the fee, your son's credentials, the course you want, and every other necessary information with the boys. What religion do you practice? Mommy. Yes, dear. I said, what religion do you practice? I am a dickness by the grace of God. Correct. You can go ahead and register your name for the next episode of Testimony and Thanksgiving in your church for your child's authentic admission to one of the best federal universities in this country. God bless you. Good day. Boys, move me. God bless you.
James. You cannot continue like this. Am I not trying my best? Thank you, Jesus. James, why isn't it going inside to sleep? Could you listen to show? Let's have appointment in Is that what you call this? Uh -huh. You is a letter of, of appointment. <laughs> Jesus! You this man! Are you out of your senses or what? Is this a letter of appointment or a stupid letter of burden? 
for a miserable dumb man. Excuse me. Now the church council has finally found an idle jobless man who can now head the evangelism department. Okay, oh, the evangelism department, sir. How much will this translate to at the end of the month? I mean, what is the remuneration for this so-called appointment? Is it the type that will put food on your table? Or provide shelter over your children as a responsible father? How come you have become so confused that you can no longer recognize what is good for you any longer? Since all these days that you've been serving church, what have they done for you? Don't they know that your business collapsed and that you need help? Being paid. Why are you talking like this? The church welfare department is trying its best. Please stop talking like an unbeliever. More so, I never serve the church. And I will never serve any church. My service is unto God. I only serve God in the church. And I'm not serving God because of money or any material gain. Imagine. Hey! God! Why did you give me this kind of a man for a husband? I don't really deserve this war of a man. So, you are not serving God because of money. No wonder. No wonder you are a failure as a father and as a husband. No wonder you are so comfortable with this stupid welfare department monthly package. For your information, I am done with you and your hell of an insensitive church. I think it's now clear what God wants me to do. Eh? Yes. God wants me to help the King Israel to get back on his feet financially by assisting him to resuscitate his business. That's good. So what's the other one? Uh, well, excuse me. Oh. Hello, sir. Um, yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Wow, that was the pastor. Uh, I should be on my way now. We'll talk when I come back. My regards to him. That's okay. All right. Bye. Bye, thank you. Are you sure of what you're saying? Was that supposed to be a question? Yes, of course. Then it is not a sensible one. Why? Wait, how do you think I got my admission? Oh, so you two believed what my mother said during the testimony in the church the other time? <laughs> you actually thought I got my admission based on my scores. Almost. See how this guy did for my hand. See, if you and your mama fail to blend, I'm afraid you go rust for your mama house with all your good grades. James, wake up! Come on! Hmm. Blend up, bro. Come on! So you are saying this guy got your admission? See, if you are doubting, I can give you nothing less than 20 names of people who have graduated. Some of them are even savage nations I'm speaking. And they all got their admission through him. Honestly, I'm really confused how this guy operates. Wait, how does he even... Do it. Why should I bother myself with that? Result is all I need. I don't care about the process. Uh -huh. What about the charges? Well, it depends on certain factors like who brought you, your financial status, the course you want, and so on. But I learned it can be very considerate at times, depending on his mood. But as a child of God, this doesn't sound right to me. He is not a staff of any university. He's a university dropout, yet people are tripping to his place for admission without... I can see you are ready to die as an admission seeker. Wait, what are you trying to prove here? That you are a saint or you are the only religious person in the world or what? 
you must be kidding me. Is my father not a reverend? Is my mother not the spiritual head of women association in the church? Even the dickness. James, you better put away this your religious malady and possess a possession. Even the Bible says, heaven helps those who help themselves. That is not in my own Bible. Okay, she done there. You don't get admission finish. Everybody can, but I can't. Everybody can, but I can't. James, if others are doing it, you cannot, because we belong to God. We are different, my dear. Please don't compromise your faith in the awesome power of God. I strongly believe God will do it for you this year. I'm praying for you, James. Mom, we are in another admission season. Don't you get? I can't wait any longer. Since God keeps denying me my admission into the high institution, I have decided to help myself. Hmm. If I don't get admission this season, anything can happen. No way! Everybody can, but I can't. Everybody can lie, everybody can sing, everybody can bend. Anybody can lie, anybody can sing, everybody can bend. I need to stand up for righteousness if I must win. I need to stand up for holiness if I must win. Bim, 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 bim. I beg you in the name of God, let love and peace return to this house. Don't let us set this home and place because of this passing time. Dear, honestly, I'm getting so uncomfortable with the way things are going. It is beginning to affect the children and our spiritual standing. Please, just give me a little more time. More so, God told me so. Mm. Don't just start. I have had enough of what God has been saying in the last eight months, with no single proof. So, please, just keep what God said to yourself. See, if you really want peace in this house, I have told you what to do. Hmm. Ah, can't you understand? Go to your friend. I am so sure he's ready to help you. Ah, you have a multi-millionaire bosom friend who is willing to help you. But here you are, living in half jet lag. But there, you know it's an abominable thing for a child of God to go down to Egypt for help. I don't care. If you like, go down to Jericho or Kapano. I don't give a damn. Ah. Mm. But you know we are children of God. We can't be involved in shady businesses. There you go again. Mr. Shady Business. Okay, what is the nature of his shady business? He has refused to disclose it to me. He has not even disclosed it. Yet you claim it's a shady business. The shady business that made him resign from a federal government job. And in less than six months, he has become a multi-millionaire. And your whole month shady, clean business has vanished into thin hair, leaving you as a mere Shesheran boy. See, you have just started. No peace for a lazy jobless man. So says the scriptures. Until you apply the scriptures in this matter, there will be no peace in this house. No way. Everybody can, but I can't. Your time for strategizing an underground work is over. Proceed to the second phase. It is time for physical presence. Don't forget. No fear.
All thanks to God and to your good mother who was always on my neck. Well, God has finally helped me with your admission. I submitted your credentials alongside those of five other people. But somehow, the VC took particular interest in your papers. Mm. I checked the net and I discovered your name is on the admission list. You can also check it up. Eh? Uh, meanwhile, the Lord also laid it upon my heart to assist you with this money. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> That's all right, madam. <laughs> We're just coming from the cafe. Our name is on the first admission list. Thank you so much. You will never be put to shame. But I'm still concerned about... Hey, hey, hey. I'm working on that. Hey, I need you to excuse them. Bring the last client... What fellowship does darkness have with light? Why do you want to compromise? Guys, is this not the same guy who came to spoil my day with his senseless preaching? Are you not the fool who told me that God told you that I should stop this prosperous business of helping people get admission? Oh, oh, you have come again. Sorry, sir. James is here on a different mission. Yes, sir. Please forgive my wrongdoing the other time. I was simply senseless and stupid. I've come to beg for your help to gain admission into the university. Eh? You? <laughs> you mean you two wants to go through the back door? So, your need of admission is stronger than your trust in your Jesus? <laughs> I said it! I said it! All these issues are all fake! <laughs> Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. You are so good, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As you are already aware, I will be traveling abroad for my sabbatical. Uh, my flight is 4 p.m. today. Uh, meanwhile, the Lord strongly impressed it upon my heart to assist you to resuscitate your business with this token. <laughs> Ah, Daddy, this is way more than you're talking. Uh, uh, that's okay. God it's bless okay. you, sir. Amen. God will honor you Amen. and prosper your ways. Amen. Ah, Daddy, you will never know shame, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. All thanks to God. Uh, please, I should be on my way. I don't want to miss my flight. Right. Please extend my regards to your wife and children when they come back. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a safe trip, Thank you. What could he have come for? I hope he has not come to give him another stupid letter of assignment in the church. Hmm. It better not be, because I will tear that stupid letter.
Hmm. My wife will now know that God answers prayers. I will surprise her today. Jesus! Do you know you could have just turned a check of three million naira? Yeah! No? You didn't say it. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some need to the face, baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, by so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby, came here to play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine I'm so sorry, my darling husband. Huh. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. Is he Alpha and the Mega? He's a miracle walking God. Ja, what are we still waiting for? Let's go and cash it right away. See, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot in my spirit. Let's catch it tomorrow. Eh! Hey, hey, eh! You have started again, no? Mm. What reluctance in the spirit are you talking about again? When God has finally decided to answer our prayer, after a long reluctance, what further reluctance do we need to go and cash the check when you know the price of death that are already waiting for this money? It is either today or never. It's okay. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me go and cash it. We are going together. No, there's no need. We can't go together. The children will soon be back from school. Okay. I will be waiting for you. I'll be back. I'm waiting now. Hey. I am waiting now. Hey. 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 It's a miracle working, God. It's a miracle working, God. I am waiting now. Hey. Hey. Uh. Uh. Ah. Young man, what's the, what's the problem? Get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over. Like, oh God, here goes. I Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches. Stop. Everybody can sing, everybody can bang. Anybody can lie, anybody can sing, everybody can bang. I need to stand up for righteousness if I must win. I need to stand up for holiness 
if I must win. Oh, everybody can. Oh, I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Everybody can. Oh, I can. Oh, no way. No, 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 no way. No, 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 no. Everybody can. After painfully carrying all the responsibilities in this house for the past eight bad months, look, my patience has gone to Salik bankrupt. Good night. How come you have become so confused that you can no longer recognize what is good for you any longer? Until you apply the scriptures in this matter, there will be no peace in this house. This is our humble abode. It's a nice place. Please don't flatter me. What can I offer you? Anything. Sit down. You aren't taking your drink? No, not until we take some of it. Oh, really? What's going on here? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, ma. Nothing. Nothing. Let me go, Is it because of my mom? No. We will see in school tomorrow. Alright. And who was that girl? You mean Sister Eileen? No, Brother Eileen. Mom, I'm not in 200 level. And I said, who is she? She's the choir coordinator of our fellowship in the school. So, what does she want here? She just came to greet me. Greet you with the way I met you both? Hmm. James, be very careful with that girl. Why? She's a very sound child of God. I made my point clear enough. Be careful with her. Basically, you were poor, but now you are rich. You were weak, but now you don't pray anymore, you don't fast anymore, you're not hot, my friend, you're old. Oh, you say good times are here, good times are here. Well, but now you 
Sister Eileen, at least I've been begging you since. My mom is not what you think she is. She doesn't even know me. Sorry. I know she doesn't know you, but I know you. Even you. You two don't know me. I don't know you. Okay. Who are you? I am an agent. An agent? Of course. An agent of change. Oh. Dad. Please, oh, agent. Can't it wait till tomorrow? It can't. It has been bothering me for a while. And you hardly stay at home these days. Okay. I'm listening. There are two things. The first one has to do with your spiritual life. You seem not to bother about your spiritual standing lately. Our family altar is dead. You no longer attend midweek fellowship, even Sunday services. Hardly do you attend church service once in two months. Your personal fellowship with God is dead. Mm -hmm. Dear. Uh, and so? Ah. As the spiritual head of this house, you need to wake up from your spiritual slumber. <sighs> the second issue has to do with your undue closeness with Mr. Richard. Fine, he has helped you back to your feet financially. But I believe your closeness with him is responsible for your loss of interest in spiritual things. Apart from that, you are beginning to exhibit some ungodly characters. Dear, what is happening to you? You want to go back to sleep? Woman, please don't be silly. You know I have a business trip to South Africa tomorrow. Please, let me be, please. But you have to respond to all this. I said you let me be. Are you deaf? Huh. Dear? Dear? She be you. Started well, but now you backslide. You were lost, but now you are found. Omuti bagbe ishe live let us live. Oh my friend, please don't go astray. It is now time for the final onslaught. Don't forget, no failure. Who are these ones? This one. They are our private guests. Private guests. Yeah. Basically, you were poor, but now you are rich. You were weak, but now you are strong. You don't pray anymore. You don't fast anymore. You're not hurt, my friend. You say good times are here, good times are here. Oh, brother, yeah, yeah. Good times, good times are here. You say good times are here, good times, good times are here. But you know you need God for now. Good times, good times are here. More than you ever do. Good times, good times are here. Good times, good times are here. Backslide, you were lost, but now you were found. 
James, did God make a mistake by answering your prayer? What exactly has come over you? You were not like this when you were waiting on God for your admission. You were so fervent in the spirit, committed to the things of God. You hated and fled from every appearance of evil. But now, I have caught you several times doing the same things you once vehemently preached against. Since you started your friendship with that girl called Eileen, everything about you has changed. I've warned you severally to stop seeing her. You refused. I said I saw a revelation of that same sister Eileen of yours. Stabbed you, and yet... Mm. That revelation was as a result of your ill feelings about her. And Will you shut up? What about your spiritual life? Is that also my ill feelings? What about your last semester results? James, I beg you in the name of God, please leave this girl alone and run back to Jesus. Mom, you are really making me feel bad about this, your baseless assumptions. There is nothing wrong with my relationship with God. Even Jesus knows I'm alright. Basically, you were poor, but now you are rich. You were weak, but now you are strong. You don't pray anymore. You don't fast anymore. You're not hot, my friend. You are cold. All you say, good times are here. Auntie, are you not going to talk to Sunday again? Is that what your mommy put in your mouth? No, Dad, just that you have stopped taking off the church. Aria, I have some business appointment. I'll take the church next Sunday. Promise. Aria, go. Aria, go, your mommy. The thief will come only to steal, to kill and destroy. Please awake from your sleep. Oh, oh. all you say is good times. So styling. So styling, it's your turn. Uh, why? And where to? Today is one of my final projects and I must complete it today. What are you talking about? How many projects do you have? And besides, if you had to defend any projects, it should definitely not be today. Today is Sunday. More so, this idea of not going to church service was yours. You said you wanted us to spend some quality time together. So, I don't understand what you're talking about. You can't understand that. Sister, Sister Eileen! 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 Get dressed so that we can go out together. Oh no. Do you have to go out when you have such a big and beautiful place like this? Hey. Hey. Yes. I can complete everything here. 
Complete what? My mission. Your mission? Don't think about it. I mean, the mission of giving you a very good time. Great pleasure. Actually, I had a very good time with you the other day. Meanwhile, um, please forget my forgetfulness. Um, remind me of your name. I am Agent Augusta. Agent Augusta. I said Angel. Oh, I thought I had a chance. Um, in that case, let me entertain my sweet Angel. Oh, no. No time for that. My mission can't wait. I am so ready for you. I can't wait to give you the very good time you deserve. Let's go. I'm in trouble, oh, trouble! Hey! What happened? I forgot my title at home, so I came for it. Uh, let me help you get it. Why? Uh, so that you can go back to church on time. <laughs> let me get it for you. What is happening? <laughs> Nothing. Let me get it for you. Nothing. from your shoes. I have told you not to put your shoes under the bed any longer. Now the whole room smells like a dead rat. No wonder you didn't want me to enter. You are surprised the wife didn't see me. She can't see me. Anyway, it is finished. What is finished? The final house slot. See you at the other side. Agent Augusta, the missionary to the soul of your husband, and you're my partner in the job. By the way, thank you for helping me frustrate your husband with your desire for good things. You really made my work very easy, and now the mission is accomplished. Doing here? I came to complete my assignment. Why are you speaking in Paris today? A few hours ago, 
He said he had a project to complete and left hurriedly, only to return, dressed like an unbeliever, saying I had to complete an assignment. Besides, you promised never to come to my house again. What if my mom had not gone to church? I know that she cannot be at home. Sorry about the other time. Now, let's go to your room. My room? What for? So that your mom will not disturb me. Disturb you? Please, let's go in. You are going nowhere. In Jesus' name. What is your mission here? That is none of your business, Pastor Paul alone like So you even know me. I command you to release your grief over this life in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> in God's name you are not better. But because your garden is not of the Lord, you are scattered <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. You powers, principalities, rulers in the spiritual darkness of this world. I render you in for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Death is a dedicated child of God. Therefore, you grow. Open up. Release it. Release it in the mighty Go into the abyss. Go into the bottom of In the mighty name of Jesus. Now sit down. What is the meaning of this? My friend, sit down. Okay, sit down. I do not have time for that. You are under arrest for illegal bunkering and foundation of oil pipeline, as well as the murder of Chief Ignis Ibekwe. I advise you not to do anything. For whatever you do or say here, will be used against you in the law court. And don't try to play any small game. This house has been surrounded by my men. My friend, stand up and let's move. See, get my phone. Call Brigadier Johnson. Right away. Which phone, my friend? Come on, Johnson. Call him right away. has landed me. He has been unconscious with you got here five days ago. Oh. I put him. I put him to all this. All because I wanted to live big like other women. <laughs> I put him. Until his love for Christ was cold and dead. Ah, oh God! Do not allow my husband to die. Have mercy. Ah, Molly. Yeah, yeah. But those who crave to be rich fall into temptation and in a snare, and into many foolish, useless, godless, and hurtful desires that plunge men into ruin and destruction and miserable perishing. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 9 What profit is there in life for which one should allow the kingdom of God to slip away? What is on this earth that will not come to an end one day? It is only what God does that gives joy and fulfillment. Whatever God does not give you as a child of God is probably not meant for you in the first place. When you wait for and on God, you can never wait.
Chevy, you started well, but now you backslide. You were lost, but now you are found. I'm a team, but they in Chevy, let us leave. Oh, my friend, please don't. Away from your sleep, oh, oh. all you say is. 